Today we will be working on a classic integral which is the Gaussian integral and that is the integral from negative infinity to infinity of the function e to the negative of x squared dx. So to begin solving this integral, I'll first let this integral to be i. And then you can see that by strictly integrating this integral with using some standard techniques doesn't really work. So what I will do is that instead of computing i, I will compute i squared, which in this case I'll write the whole thing twice, which is the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative x squared dx, and I'll copy the same thing over here, which is the same integral. And then now let's do a trivial substitution where I will let y to be equal to x. So dy is equal to dx, which is just changing the dummy variable. So therefore, this first integral over here is still the same with the variable x. And then the second one, I will change it to the variable y. And then now looking at these two integrals, we can actually smash it into one double integral. Where we have the integral from negative infinity to infinity, and also the same thing which is negative infinity to infinity. And I'll smash the two integrand together, which will have e to the negative of x squared plus y squared dx dy. And now because we have that this is x squared y squared. This is very good for using polar form integration. So therefore, we can actually change this whole thing into a polar form integration, where we note that i squared over here is equal to the region of integration is all possible points in the set of R2. And the function is just the same over here. And then now we can change this into a polar form which will integrate from 0 to 2 pi and for the r is 0 to infinity and then it is e to the power of negative r square where r square is equal to x square plus y square just by simple change of polar form and then we'll multiply by the extra factor of Jacobian over here which is the factor r and we'll have dr d data and then we can actually separate this into two separate integrals where we have integral from 0 to 2 pi d data times by the integral from 0 to infinity e to the negative r square times by r dr. And then now we see that this integrand over here can be easily integrated by a simple u substitution where we let u to be equal to negative r square and du is equal to negative 2r dr. So therefore, we see that r dr over here is just negative du over 2. And this e to the power of negative r square is equal to e to the power of u. And for the bounds of integration, as r approaches to infinity, we have that u approaches to negative infinity. And then when r equals to 0, we have that u being 0. And so therefore, we have this equal to the antiderivative of d data from 0 to 2 pi and d is just 2 pi times by the integral from 0 to negative infinity of e to the u negative 1 over 2 du and then now I can take this negative over here and then switch the bounds of integration which will be negative infinity to 0 and then this 1 over 2 can be moved outwards to cancel with these two so all in all, we're left with this is equal to pi times by the integral from negative infinity to 0 of e to the u du. And then this is obviously equal to pi times by e to the u evaluated at 0 and negative infinity. And then if you evaluate this at negative infinity, it will be just equal to 0. And evaluating it at 0, you get 1. So therefore, this whole thing is essentially just being 1. So our final answer over here is equal to pi. And then this is i squared. So this tells us that i is equal to the square root of pi, which is indeed a famous result. And so we are done. If you want to solve more interesting integrals, then be sure to watch this video over here.